Since I became a videographer, finding the perfect color grading tool has been my number one goal. I've obsessed over filtering through so many different types of plugins, techniques, and tricks of the trade to make my films feel more like they were shot on a Hollywood movie set. No matter how much I look, time and time again, I keep finding myself coming back to a very specific plugin in particular, and that plugin is called Film Convert. Film Convert has been around for a while, but a couple years ago they came out with an outstanding updated version of their plugin called Film Convert Nitrate. What's up guys, Stanton Giles here, and today I want to talk specifically about this incredible plugin, Film Convert Nitrate. If you end up wanting to snag a license for Film Convert Nitrate after watching this video, you can use the promo code Stanton or use the link down in the description of this video. Also, if you haven't had a chance to join our Facebook group, Destination Wedding and Elopement Videographers, there will be a link down to that Facebook group in the description of this video. So in regards to Film Convert Nitrate, I firmly believe that without knowing anything about color grading, you can simply download this plugin, slap it on your footage, and instantly enhance the look of your videos. From there, you can use a wide range of built-in features to tweak and fine-tune your footage. So let's start off by talking about what I mean by enhancing the look and feel of your films with this plugin. The biggest complaint that I see from videographers about their cameras, whether they know it or not, is that these prosumer and consumer cameras that we are shooting on tend to render a very digital looking end product. Digital footage might have the same resolution as high-end film cameras, but I oftentimes see videographers asking why does my footage not look as good as these Hollywood movies if it was shot in the same resolution. You see, over the years we've trained our eyes to see what Hollywood puts out as the gold standard as far as cinema is concerned. Let's take Lord of the Rings for example. The first three movies in the trilogy were filmed on 35mm film, while the next trilogy, The Hobbit, was filmed on a high-end digital cinema camera. I'm sure you've heard, if you haven't been living under a rock, some of the complaints about how The Hobbit looked. It didn't have that classic and authentic feel that we had grown so used to, on top of the fact that they were using experimental frame rates and using loads and loads and loads and loads of CGI. So bringing it back to Film Convert Nitrate, this plugin basically bridges the gap between what our prosumer cameras are looking like with that digital outputted image and that beautiful cinematic film look that we're always looking for in our films. Within Film Convert Nitrate, there are several pretty well known color grading features such as curves and wheels. But the real beauty of this plugin comes from 19 different film stock emulations that you have to choose from to put on your footage. Something to note for you original Film Convert Pro users. The original program works really well, but it filters your image through an sRGB pipeline. Basically, that means that Film Convert Pro is adjusting any color effects that you put on your footage after your base grade is locked in, all while living in an sRGB color space. No matter if you shot your footage in S-Log2, S-Log3, HLG, Picture Profile Off, you are locked into an sRGB color space. This means sometimes that you're blowing out your highlights and crushing your shadows while also not being able to recover detail. The difference is that Film Convert Nitrate works in a Cineon Log processing pipeline. Simply put, if you shot your footage in Log, it's going to process that footage much better. This means that your highlights and your shadows aren't being heavily compressed into an sRGB color space. This gives you the ability to fine tune your highs and your shadows without losing near as much detail. Another cool thing about Film Convert Nitrate is that the white balance, tint, and exposure sliders built into the plugin will behave natively to your specific camera profile that you shot in. So basically, if you're adjusting these sliders, it's about as close as you can get to doing an in-camera adjustment of exposure, tint, and white balance. So let's dive in and see exactly what this program is all about. After you've installed Film Convert Nitrate into your editing software, you can go ahead and drag that onto your footage. From there, your editing workflow should go something like this. Selecting the correct camera profile to match your footage, balancing the exposure and color temperature of the shot, selecting your preferred film stock, and fine-tuning your image with your color wheels and curves. Film Convert has a wide range of camera profiles to choose from within the camera settings. What you're doing with this step is telling Film Convert what camera shot the footage so that it can best translate the color between the footage recorded by the camera and the film stock that you'll be choosing. Next, I'm going to fix any camera mistakes that I made while shooting the day of with the exposure, temperature, and tint sliders. After that, go ahead and open up the film stock dropdown. Here you will find all 19 different film stock options to choose from. Another cool feature about this step is that you can choose the actual film size, which plays a massive role on how your footage will turn out looking. Going hand in hand with the film settings is the grain settings, a feature that the old Film Convert didn't offer to the level that this update has. In this part of the plugin, you can actually change the size, the softness, the strength, and the saturation of your grain, as well as the grain response over different exposure values in your footage. Next, you're going to want to go into your color corrections tab and adjust your wheels, curves, and levels to suit the footage and look that you're going for. Something to note about Film Convert Nitrate is that the slider interface is much more smooth than the Film Convert Pro version. It's a much more intuitive interface that allows for better color correction. Another note about Film Convert Nitrate is that this plugin is super fast. I've noticed that a lot of plugins tend to bog down your system to the point where you almost have to render every single clip in order for you to move forward with editing. 
Film Convert Nitrate works seamlessly with your editing software, giving you incredible color grading and film emulation capabilities without slowing down your workflow. Simply put, Film Convert Nitrate is an easy way to make your footage look more like film. In my opinion, Film Convert Nitrate is going to get you as close to that film aesthetic as you could possibly get without actually shooting film. If you're looking for something to easily work into your existing workflow while also upgrading the production value of your footage, you've arrived. It's Film Convert Nitrate. Seriously, guys, you might not ever buy another plugin after buying this. Coming in at $139, this investment is super worth this low cost in order to upgrade the value of every single one of your films that you're putting out. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching this video. If you found something useful in watching this, please leave a like on the video and subscribe as well. I'll be talking a lot more about destination wedding and elopement related topics in the future. I only post about three to four YouTube videos every month, but every day in our destination wedding and elopement Facebook group, we're talking about tons of different things regarding travel weddings. Anyway guys, thanks again for watching and I'll see you next time.